Corporate strong, all ready to speak their minds on a bill that would change how sex ed is taught in our schools. Every last one of them will get to address lawmakers before another vote is held, a process that began around lunch and will stretch late into the night. Denver 7's Russell Haythorne is joining us tonight. Russell, there is strong opposition to this, yet also plenty of people in favor. Yeah, and the age-old conversation about the birds and the bees is all the buzz here at the state capitol. Some say this new bill pushes an agenda and silences parents. Others say it finally gives a voice to kids of all sexualities, and that's where the con controversy lies. Issue. Nearly 220 people signed up to testify at the Senate hearing today. Among them... It's everywhere. Mother of three, Brecken Jones, who is against the bill. They say we will be inclusive, tolerant, and accepting of you as long as you agree with us. Does that sound like true tolerance? Does that sound like true inclusivity? The new sex ed bill would add more human sexuality curriculum, perhaps most controversial of all, LGBTQ content. The bill would not allow districts to endorse abstinence only, but districts would still teach about abstinence and could still opt out of the curriculum entirely. We're not teaching people how to have sex. That's not the point of this. It's more about teaching about healthy relationships. Supporters say the bill empowers students rather than demonizing sexuality. We believe the uh, language included in the comprehensive sex education bill will help lead to a more inclusive environment for our, for, uh, for our younger LGBTQ youth, which will lead to better outcomes later in life. The curriculum includes birth control, abstinence, STD prevention, and inclusion. But opponents say the bill pushes an agenda over a chorus of parental objections. They need to honor parent rights, and we of course want to be accepting and inclusive of everyone. Uh, but the content that they were showing to our kids was just clearly inappropriate for you know, first graders. Others argue the new comprehensive sex ed bill disregards the idea of local control over curriculum and instruction. Including religion in particular. If parents want to have a particular program for their kids that they should have a way to, of getting that without having to go through opt-ins and opt-outs and all this kind of stuff. The bill has already cleared some significant hurdles and is now before a Senate committee. If your school district does participate, you may also opt your child out. About 213 people signed up to testify. They're each given about three minutes to speak. So if you do the math on that, that's about 10 hours of testimony we're looking at. They started this hearing at 1.30 this afternoon. We could be here in the wee hours of the evening. We'll keep you posted for now. We're live inside the state capitol. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.